day guys welcome back now I am going to try today to do the little petri paws so I've got my alcohol inks I'm just getting a wriggle on because I don't want anything to set up I don't know if alcohol inks evaporate or not but I've got them in my little cups down here all right just covering the molds probably won't use all of it because I don't think I've got enough ink I don't want to waste my ink so I'm just having a little practice I've got my inks made up um, I've added some white to my actual inks I've got sapphire blue uh, the rainforest green I mixed with some sapphire blue to get like a teal and then the orange and of course the magic ingredient the white to make everything drop let's just torch for bubbles if I can get it to work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work mm, maybe it's empty show my other one I've got a second one there we go got two of them look at that pops those little bubbles works really well okay so what I'm going to do is um, I am testing a theory got something dry stuck on there don't, don't spill anyway it'll have to stay um, I'm just testing a theory I'm going to do oh don't spill it's so hard for these little things little cups um, I'm going to do one layer in these two of ink and two layers in those two it, well if I've got enough I don't know whether like I said if it evaporates or not I might just do one first <clears throat> wipe that off and then I'm going to go with the teal one, two, three. I'm wasting it by wiping it. One, two, three. So that's that's one layer. I haven't got much left actually. Let's try over here. One, two, three. I should use more spoons, shouldn't I? Then I don't waste it. One, two, three. I didn't want to wet make up too much because I don't want to waste my inks. Look, it doesn't work. One, two. Actually, I might do this one with two layers just because I've already got the blue here. All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right, so you've got two layers. And like I said, I'm just doing this little experiment basically just for me so I can watch back and see how it goes. But if it works, then, you know, you can watch as well, I guess. Okay, so that's two layers of the teal. One, two, three. I've got enough to do one more. There's only going to be a one layer one, so it can go over here. One, two, <laughs> I'll just chuck out what I've got in there. Actually, I might as well just pour it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, actually, I've got a little bit left. Let's see if I can do two over here. One, two, three drops. Can I get the drops out? One. Do anything else want to come out? <laughs> no. Oh, my orange is empty. I think they evaporate. Like, seriously, it's gone. Gone skis. All right, so there we go. So this is why I had to go really fast because they just they just go evaporate. Anyway, we'll see how it works. So that one's got two layers. Now I can't remember. So this is why I do the video, so I can look back on it. That one's got two layers. That one's got one. You... I can't remember what you are. I'll have to have a look. Anyway, um, we'll just see what happens. I just want to see whether one or two layers works better. Um, let me see. I'll show you. I did this one the other day. It was just one layer. Let me get my glass. All right. It's really hard for me to show you, but 
there we go see the little feathers that was look at the dust from the <laughs> it's the dust from the gloves the powder okay so that was one layer beautiful little feathers I didn't get any down here though I don't think I put enough ink in but experimenting um, and I did <clears throat> This one was really cool as well. This one's really pretty as well. But I put a little bit too much white in. Look at the little tiny blobs there. See that? Is it going to focus? It's really hard to focus. Maybe I'm too close. But that one's really pretty. I mean, you can't really see the depth in there. It's so pretty. But I think that one just had a little bit too much white in it. Um, and then there was other ones which were a different, different technique. Or I got that. So I've just been practicing, well, experimenting with different techniques, really. And I'm getting different looks. So that one's more of a wispy, feathery, hairy type one. Really pretty still, but different. Um, and then I got, it's like show and tell, hey. There was that pink and purpley one. Again, I just did one layer. I don't know if you can no it's not picking it up um and then there's that one as well which is kind of pinkies and oranges some get better feathers than others it may have to do with the weight of the actual ink itself like the colors but um yeah this one this one's still my favorite this one's pretty too this one's more it's a bit more abstract like the colors are really pretty but see in the turquoise there I didn't get any feathering but it still looks really pretty the feathers that I did get down here are really pretty but then I mustn't have had enough ink so I've just got color which is still pretty but I just haven't got feathers so yeah there we go like I said just experimenting practicing trying things it's the only way you can do anything isn't it by trying all right um i'm going to come back and swirl in about 20 minutes so i'll give it a swirl and i'll see you then all right so uh it's been 25 minutes i just tested this one on the end here Oh, I'm going to tell you what I did. <laughs> because I had that little bit of resin left over, um, I filled up these two, well, put a little bit of resin in those two, and um, just did the old-fashioned Petri where you drop the colour in and then you drop the white on top. So that's these two here. So we'll see how they work. And the others have got the white mixed into them. So just to test it, pick up a little piece and see if you get that long stringy trail. If you do, then it's ready to swirl, okay? That's what I reckon anyway. So it's 25, coming up to 30 minutes. So let's just, actually I won't use that. I've written there what they are so that I can remember, but I need to look back on my video and see if this one was a two layer or a one layer because I can't remember. Oh my gosh, here we go. I'm just gonna swirl a little bit, starting from the middle. Looks a bit muddy, doesn't it? Hopefully it won't stay like that. It does look a bit muddy. I'm trying not to touch the bottom because I don't want to scratch the bottom. Like I don't want to scratch my mould. Just give them a swirl. This one... This one's quite thick. It was sitting in the cup, the resin, it was sitting in the cup a lot longer. Um, and so when I dropped the white on, it kind of, it didn't spread. You know how the 
um, white normally spreads it didn't it kind of just sort of sat there so I don't know what it's going to do but it'll be interesting to see what happens when you do leave your resin to thicken up a little bit before you drop into it because it just looks totally one color doesn't it so anyway I'm going to look back on this one and see what I did <laughs> That one's got the two layers. See, it doesn't look as bright. It looks looks more blended, doesn't it? That one you can really see the orange. Maybe this is one layer as well, because these two look the same, and then this one looks much more blended. Weird. I would have thought with two layers that it might be more, more bright, but you can certainly see the orange there more than you can there. Anyway, now we just have to wait for tomorrow. It's the hardest part, is waiting. And uh, we'll unmold tomorrow, so... See you then. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm back. It's uh, it's late at night. Well, it's 10.30 in the evening anyway. And I really, really, really wanted to see what these are going to do before I go to bed. So hopefully they're, um, hopefully they're set enough. So this one here was the one that I did two layers of the ink that had the white mixed in might still be a little bit soft well it will be a little bit soft because this resin takes longer to set up a bit tricky getting them out of these little things pop <laughs> it's already changing color I've only used it a few times it's changing color again all right here we go oh my gosh please work are you ready one two three did it work? Did it work? Oh, I can't really see. The light's not the best in here tonight. We do have feathering. We do have feathering. Definitely have feathering. Just looks a little bit muddy to me. I probably should have waited for the morning, shouldn't I? My light's not the best in here. Oh, there we go. There's a better shot. Let's look at the feathering. It's not bad. It just, like I said, it just looks a little bit muddy. Like the orange doesn't really look orange. It looks more of a brown. So I wonder if it's got something to do with the fact that it was two layers. A nice swirl in the middle there. All right, let's have a look at the next one. I'll put that one there. Now, actually, let's go on to this one because that one's that was the one I had to look back on my video. Actually, um, I did two, I did one layer, and then I had a little bit of the blue left, so I put some more on, but I didn't have any of the orange left. I think that was that one, but it is looking brighter. I mean, you can see the top. This one's brighter for some reason. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three. Oh, look at that. She threw the light. She threw the light with the light behind it. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry it's a bit glary. Should have waited for the morning. But I couldn't wait. I was too, too excited. There we go. There's a shot. Look at that. <gasps> That's so pretty. Look at the way the orange is shining there. I wonder if that's got to do with the fact that I did two layers on the other one, though. I'm having a bit of trouble focusing. And look at the bright blue on the left there. That's that's showing up really pretty and bright, isn't it? That's really pretty. That's with the light coming in behind it. Oh, doesn't know what to focus on. It's really pretty. I like that one. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Okay, so so far, the one with the two layers I thought would be better pigmented, but it's just just muddied it. I guess maybe because some of the turquoise might have gone over the top of the orange. Whereas if I only do one layer, then, you know, another color's not coming over the top of it. So maybe that's why. 
a bit of light shining through there as well. All right, let's have a look at this one. So that one there had, I think, extra blue in it. Or is this the one with extra blue? I can't remember now. Oh, that one's really pretty too. Actually, this one, see, it hasn't got as much feathering down here on the side. So I might not have put enough orange in. Let's spin it around and have a look. See right at the top there? Yeah, there's not much feathering right at the top there. It just looks orange. Look at the sparkle. So we've got the blue here and then into the turquoise and then into the orange. But um, yeah, like I said, that one hasn't got quite as much orange there. So we've just got a bit of sort of orangey ink color on the edges and not so much of the feathering. But we've certainly got the feathering in the middle. Yay! It's not a lot of blue. Like that turquoise has really taken over. Maybe I'll put more blue in next time. So these are the two orange ones next to each other. Really pretty. That one's got more orange in it. This one's got more teal in it. So those were the ones that had the ink mixed in. Now, not really expecting this to work with just the white sort of dropped in afterwards. Well, maybe it will, but when I did my others, they didn't. I, it was blobby. So let's have a look. Yeah, same thing, blobby. I mean, it's pretty and all, but it's just, it's different. Like it's not the same. You certainly don't get the same sort of feathering look. It's a different type of feather. Little, are they little tiny micro bubbles that it looks like some weird planet? I don't know if it's going to pick up the sides terribly well. Mm, there's not a lot actually that it's dropped through to the sides, but yeah, you can see it's a totally different look. Have we got any feathering? Any feathering at all? A mm, little bit right in the middle but basically we get these long hair type pieces with the blobs on the bottom. That's what I was getting when I was doing these, this other one the other day which is still really pretty. I mean I really like the the colours and, and everything, it's just so different to um, to this, you know, different, totally different feathering. Depends what you like, I guess. No right or wrong. All right, let's have a look at the end one. Now, this was the one that my resin was setting up and it was going quite, quite thick. And then when I dropped the white on, it didn't like spread, it just stayed. And it looked to me as if it was sinking down. So we'll see. <laughs> it's really dark on top. All the white's gone. All right, let's have a look. Yep. It's even worse for blobbiness. So interesting though. They look like little mushrooms. That one's more similar to this one, I guess. I would have thought that if the resin was starting to set up and getting harder or thicker, that the white wouldn't drop down as much. I mean, I only put, I think, four or five drops of white over the top just to cover the, the top surface. Like, I didn't put a lot of white on there. But, yeah, it didn't. Like I said, it didn't spread. It just kind of sunk. So... Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So there you go. Righto, uh, favourite piece, favourite piece. Um, well, oh no, one of these two. I like these two. One of my favourite pieces out of that. So interesting little experiment. 
Um, so as far as I can see, one layer works better, but I mustn't have put enough color in because I've got a little bit of clear there that doesn't have any color in it. So, I mean, these are relatively big pendants. You know, they'd be over an inch across. Yeah, really happy with those. I'll take photos of them in the sun tomorrow and show you the finished product because it's not real good light in the studio this time of night. But yeah, happy with it. <laughs> Certainly going to have another play, have another practice. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, and I'll see you real soon for the next one. I'll keep experimenting. Okay, bye for now. I've got to go to bed. <laughs>